Uh, the show is called Romantically Challenged. And to me, it's really about a group of four best friends who are totally functional with each other, and then everything outside of their core group is dysfunctional. Um, and they all have their own little romantic challenges uh, that we learn about along the way. Uh, and I play Rebecca, and she's recently divorced. She's a mother of a 15-year-old, uh, and she's just starting to get back into the dating scene. You know, she says uh, that her her last date was during the Clinton administration first term. I think originally I was attracted to this show uh, because of Ricky Blit, who is uh, an amazing writer. He's got an amazing comedic voice that's very uh, sort of edgy and quirky. Um, but also he writes really strong for women. And normally I, I think that uh, you know, women in, in comedies are usually the straight man. Um, and he has this incredibly innate ability to make even the female characters funny. Um, and I don't mean funny in, in their sort of like pratfalls or de delivery, but character funny, like quirks that they have that makes them funny. You know, the humor comes just out of these in, insane romantic situations, you know, which I think every woman over, you know, 25 has gone through uh, while searching for love. I think it's something that everyone can relate to, just ridiculous circumstances or dates that went awry or whatever it is. You know, when I say to people, when people ask me, what's the name of the show? And I say, romantically challenged, everyone always says, oh, it's a show about me. <laughs> so I think everyone can relate, you know, and it's all, it's all things of, uh, you know, when, you, when I look back on, on my single years, like in my 20s, uh, there were some really silly circumstances that surrounded sort of my love life. Of course, when I was going through them at the moment, they weren't so silly. They were, you know, either heartbreaking or um, hurtful. Uh, but now looking back, they were pretty ridiculous. So this show is really taking sort of a microscope to all of those situations. Well, I think that the relationships that our male characters are in as far as, you know, their dating lives um, are all really funny. And uh, like we shot an episode where Kyle Bornheimer's character, uh, Perry, starts dating this girl who likes to be spanked. And because he's this incredible romantic who's just so good to women, he can't bring himself to do it. Um, so it puts the guys in, in real specific situations that I think men will love as well. And the humor is really edgy. Um, and I think that'll get the guys coming back every week as well. I mean, Ricky comes from Family Guy, so just to give you an idea of how edgy. It, there's definitely a vibe on the Seinfeld stage that, that you feel. I remember before we even started production, I went down to sort of check out the dressing rooms and meet with the writers and everything, and there's a plaque outside the stage that sort of commemorates the stage, and it says Seinfeld on it. And uh, it's, it's pretty special to just walk, even just being in the dressing rooms, knowing that those were the dressing rooms where the cast, the Seinfeld cast, you know, got, got dressed and hung out. Um, I like to think it's a good omen. <laughs>